Hey girls, it's Clancy, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get the perfect, fun, springy, just overall perfect curls. And these are the curls. As you can see, they're just so fun and springy, and I just love these. And in this video, I'm using the 1 inch Ceramic Tools Curling Iron. And this originally came with the clamper or whatever, but I took that off with like I don't even know, I think I used a screwdriver, I think, I, I don't even know. And I took it off so that I could wrap it around and be showing you my exact methods on each side, um, different methods for each side, and just how to basically get these really cute, pretty, springy curls that last all day, all night, and so keep watching to figure out how you can get this hair. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Okay, so you're about to see my completely natural hair. Very not ideal. So basically what I'm going to start off by doing is I'm going to be taking my bed head after party smoothing um, cream for silky shiny healthy looking hair. I'm gonna putting this like all in my hair um, because when you curl your hair after it's curled, you can't put the stuff in it. Like you can't just like get it all around, and the curls are gonna come out, you know. So I always put the stuff in before, right before, and just a little bit, not a lot at all. Like I don't know, some people could consider that a lot. I'm sorry, shoot me. Not really, because I wouldn't like that. All right, rub it all in my hands, very rubbed around, and then just put it all over. Focusing on the ends. Just put that all around. We go all around the world. We go home. Do you guys know that song? From the Cheetah Girls? Oh my god. Alright, then I'm going to be taking my Heat Tamer Spray and my Tresemme. And now because this isn't for curly hair, it will weigh down your hair. So I'm not going to put it on the top of my head, considering that's not even where I'm going to be focusing my curls. Just by my ends. Just brush that all out. I already brushed out my hair before this, so... Not going to bother. So I'm basically going to start off by putting about one fourth of my hair up. Okay. That's actually about half, I think. And then I have these two down here. And now I'm going to be starting off with this section first. So I'm going to be tying off this one. So I'm going to be curling it um, the same way I straightened my hair in a sense, where I take what, however much I want to curl and I put it in front and then I leave everything else by back in the back and I like, take it out front. Only difference is I have this section up here. So I'm going to take a piece that's about this big and what I'm going to be doing is I take it with my left hand, I'm a righty, so I grab this with my right hand and I put this in back of my head and then I just wrap it around. Now since I have naturally not curly hair with a lot of volume, I leave this in for quite some time. Maybe like 10 or 15 seconds. Depending, I switched up a lot though. I look so cool right now. I look a little spider monkey, don't I? Okay, so then I, wow, I try to catch it. I catch it, even though that was the biggest fail of a catch, because it's really hard. I'm trying to like do all of this in this little tiny like thing right here, and I gently let it down. And then do you see how cool this little curly thing is? It's like, it's like burning them. Okay, and then I take the next section, and then I'm going to do the same exact thing. And so basically, there's no really rhyme or reason or rhythm to any of this. You just keep continuously doing that. And they come out with these little like S-shaped things. And imagine a whole head like that. Like, oh my gosh. Like, Okay, so basically I'm going to continue doing this with this whole section of hair. And I'm going to show you what to do when I'm done with that. Okay, by the way, and after you do one section, I would strongly suggest like hairspraying it just a little. Just because I've noticed that these curls don't stay that well. So I definitely recommend that. That awkward moment where I've been wondering why this piece will not curl. And then I realized that I actually unplugged this and the heat came off. Oh my gosh. That's not even funny. I've been like, what am I doing? Like, oh my gosh. That was really funny. Did I just say it wasn't even funny? I don't know. But oh my gosh. That, I was like, why isn't this curling? Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Ruffle copter. Okay, so I just finished this section and I'm going to hairspray it off. Now that we have this whole <laughs> hairspray in our mouths, um, so now that we're done, we are going to take this next section out and be careful not to get them mixed up because that's always the most annoying part of the world. And then we have all. Did you just hear me? No, no, no. Okay. Now we have all this. I'm just going to take a guess of where my part is going to be. I'm just going to say right here, separate it, and then put these down here. Get it? Um. Just orange juice, cocoa crispies, and watermelon. Okay, so now we're basically gonna be continuing the same exact thing. I'm gonna clip this. You take this and then you wrap it 
around, catch it, and then carefully bring it down. Now, by the way, I have angles, so I, that's why this is extremely short, but you'll see. It all comes out perfect. Um, don't even play with it. Don't even try to make it like how you want it, because it's just going to naturally fall down anyway. All right, and then just basically continue doing this um, repeatedly. Okay, so for the left side, I found that it's much easier to grab the curling iron in the front of your hair rather than in the back, and then you wrap the curl around horizontally this time, but then you flip it vertically so that it's easy to catch, and then you let it sit for just as amount of, for the same amount of time, and then you have the same fun, bouncy, flirty curl. And then the very last step is to hairspray all of the beautiful curls. Okay, so now that you've um, completely curled your whole head, I'll show you what it looks like in the back. It's really pretty. I completely hairsprayed it. So now it's you. if you have side bangs, um, I know a lot of people do. Obviously, some people would not consider these side bangs. Like, these are not side bangs, but these are, like, these are the side bangs that I'm growing out that I kind of, like, got, like, angled and stuff. But, um, they're still, they still just can't be just, like, curled like everything else. You could, but I personally just, I feel like ha having this gives it so much extra. You can... You can twist these back and be like, I'm ready to rock. You can put these in a poof and be like, I'm ready to rock. Or what I do, so that I'm ready to rock, is I take them, make sure they're heat protected. I put this underneath them and I kind of just curl like this. I twist it down like normal. And then I quickly take them out. Just so I have a little bit of body in them. And then I tuck them into one of these. And then once you have it exactly the way you want it, just give it one last final hairspray. And then you have the perfect, cutest, prettiest curls, which are really just so springy and just, ah, I just love these. And um, yeah, this did not take a long time. This was very easy to do. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Um, and I hope you guys try this out sometime in the near future. Okay, so I'll talk to you guys later.